Yeah, good morning to both of you. So everybody knows Peter Hoppen here around Nickel Sales for all the work he does for this community. But they also uh, need to know what he does in terms of the art world. And for years, Peter has been collecting art. And one artist in particular has changed your life, you say. That is true, Steve. Thanks for having me on the show. And that is Boris Chetkov, a Russian artist who lived from 1926 until 2010. And it was this painting we're looking at now that actually changed my life and caused me to go down this path of a serious art collecting. Now, this picture in particular is a self-portrait of the artist? Yes, it is. This is entitled Self-Portrait in a Top Hat, painted in 1987. And I was walking up the road with my wife one day, and I looked to the right and saw this almost living being looking out the window at me, asking me to engage with him. And I was so stunned, so awed, that I went into the gallery and I began to research Boris Chetkov, began to learn more about the paintings, and from that moment on, I've been on this path that continues today. And Peter, come with me over here, because this whole Certainly. area is just filled with just incredibly vibrant artworks. It's like a hidden treasure here. Talk to me about this one right here. Now, this is really fun, Steve, and uh, thanks for asking about it. It's called Quartet, but I actually call it our family portrait, since there are four <laughs> of us in our family. But you see this wonderful musical scene here presented by four separate individuals playing instruments and uh, in, in an attempt to create music. But interestingly about this is even as unique as these individuals seem, there is a circular motion to this whole flow of this painting, which represents really, even though that we're individuals, we're actually part of a team, part of a unit, uh, part of a group. And such, in my mind at least, the music we play is always better is always more beautiful when we operate as a team rather than as an individual. And then I, I, I want to swing over here too because there's just the, the most vibrant colors in this art, Peter. And you were saying this came out of uh, one of the darkest, coldest places in the, in the world. Uh, it, it, it did, coming out of Russia at a difficult time. But Boris painted this. The title of this painting is Epoch Renaissance. And I find it beautiful in that it represents a difficult and challenging time in life in the bottom part of the painting which looks a little muddied and anxious and nervous and kind of generally uh, uh, in, in difficulty. But then if you look up and to the left, you see the lilies bursting forth into the light. And I find that wonderful, inspiring to contemplate in our own lives that whenever we have difficulty, we also can burst up into the light. And so you've been collecting all these paintings for almost a decade now. What is the ultimate goal for them? Uh, the ultimate goal actually is ha having now acquired this group of what I believe to be meaningful paintings. I want to show them to our community. I love our community. I want to help them see the beauty of the art as well as potentially take away things that could be meaningful and practical in their daily living because I have found there is a message in every painting and one that I think will benefit each family who gets to see these. So we just saw uh, some, some pieces right now. Uh, how can people see more of this art here in this, the Metro? The Hoffman Art Institute is in the process of beginning to set up a major show for our community, which will invite children, young and old alike, uh, to participate in the wonder of these magical treasures. Okay. And I am excited to bring it to our community. So you're saying stay tuned. Stay tuned because here we go. <laughs> Buckle up, everybody. <laughs> Buckle up. Because right. we're, we're on it. We're on it. Peter Hoffman, thanks so yes, much sir. for sharing this Thank with you, us. Steve.